brother. songs we learned from our cousins, grandfathers, from Coach Atee's Lake. We're about to do the Skunk Monkey Calling Song. Are you ready, X? Yeah. Let's kick this live, lightning. Light this lake up. Here we go. calling song we hope to get a great sighting for you live tonight do you know what it is all right something that was really weird and that came from up here at the water towers um, in that area one morning I got up uh, at four o'clock of which I'm used to I grew up on the farm on the res and early morning hours was our usual routine because we had chores to do before we went to school. But anyway, I was on the back porch and I heard this awful, weird, it was so loud. <laughs> it scared me. I jumped and I ran back in the house, but I had never, never heard that sound before. And it was all in about the same uh, time frame as when we had this big forest fire up here, just north of here over the hills at La Cañada. Hello. Welcome to Skunk Monkey Squad. We're here today. We're live at Cochiti Lake. We're here with Lightning. And you're here with Darrell and we got Nala. We're live at Cochiti Lake. We've heard a couple of stories about skunk monkeys around this neighborhood from an elder. So we're here to try to find out if we can find one of these on videotape for the people. Tonight. What do you think we should do first? I think we should we should go and investigate. Let's go do some investigation. These skunk monkeys ain't got shit on us. We're gonna catch one. We got high quality equipment. We got a couple high quality Indians. We got this. And we got the Why did the Sasquatch jump the fence? Why did the Sasquatch jump the fence? I don't know why. To fart his way up. Hey, it's Lightning with Opal. She's going to tell us a story about the skunk monkey. Hi, my name is Opal. I come to you from Santa Fe, New Mexico. I'm here at the Cochiti tree line at the Cochiti forest. I want to have a story about a sighting of the Sasquatch. About two weeks ago, as I was hiking through the recently encountered a Sasquatch form or a body, hairy body uh, creature as I was traveling. I was actually walking on our on our fall time 
uh, hike throughout the Sandia. I swear to you, I honestly believe that because I was on my monthly, on my moon cycle, I believe Sasquatch smelt me. Or it was vice versa, I smelt him. Because there was an odor that was lingering within the forest line. And I don't know if it was him or me. But when we seen each other, we both startled and, see, and got scared. And then we both, I ran away from the Sasquatch and the Sasquatch ran away. Or maybe he could have followed me. I don't know, but I don't know. I'll, word of advice, never come up to the Cochiti tree, tree forest on your period. Brother! While we're here, where Opal spotted the skunk monkey, we're here live. We're about to go hunting for this skunk monkey. We're about to do some calls, calls of the wild. the skunk monkey. We're here about to do a couple calls to try and lure in the skunk monkey. You're up, lightning. Hit it! Okay. Ooh. Nothing. Hmm. Alright, let's try it out. Let's go for a freaky Sasquatch. So we just came back from a long adventure, but we did not find Diddly Squat. So it's a little too cold out here in Kojiti Lake right at this moment. So we're about to call it a night. I hope you enjoyed our hunt and we hope to hear and see from you soon. So when we come back, we hope to see you soon. We'll catch a skunk monkey sooner or later. Thank you. Brother!